This program was made possible by Brelundi, authentic Italian cuisine in Waltham, Massachusetts. Interview time on Italieco, the only Italian-American bilingual show in the greater Boston area. Our station always supports emerging music artists, and today I am very happy to host M.A.C. Welcome. Yes, ma'am. In the building. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. So first up, how would you describe your musical style? Um more hip hop. Sort of um I would say sort of an old school style, but um mixed with a little twist considering like we're in the newer generation. And the song, yes I am. I'm sorry, I'm actually in the lift and everything. I'm on an interview. I'm sorry with a radio. I'm sorry. But um <laughs> Um, basically, um, yeah, with a with a little twist to it, you know, um, anything um, motivational music too. I think um, a lot of the music that I have problems with, like really have like negative context. So it's like whether it's like drugs and like making it something that's positive, and it's like that's not really my aim. Um, yes. Yeah, motivational, um, anything life-changing or, you know what I mean? I feel like even with, with artists that I relate with and whatnot, it's kind of like I like them because of whatever I can relate to that they talk about in their music. Right. And tell us a bit about yourself. So where are you from and what first got you into music? I'm from Roxbury, Massachusetts. Oh, nice. Um, <laughs> I got into music, honestly, um, shout out to a friend of mine's E Flash from MBS and Rob Vital. Um, they're a group from Cambridge. Um, me and Flash went to high school together. I used to hang out with um, both of them actually outside of school. And um, he was already touring and doing stuff like that. Um, I always had an interest in like, I was really good at writing. So I would say like in middle school, I used to take um, like extra classes cause I'm, I'm dyslexic. So I had a lot of issues with spelling and whatnot. And I felt like it just taught me, like to it just extended my vocabulary basically. So like that, I took that to sitting down and, and writing songs. And I used to describe my style as like a A, B, C deal. It was real simple. And um, I used to record with this guy who was 19 years old. I was going by the name um, anytime. Um, it was like trying to get into the game and it was like I'd freestyle anytime. And um, but still I still had that basic style. And the engineer used to we used to go to middle school together. Um, shout out to Selassie, but um he used to say to me, like, why do you talk this way? But then when you rap, you sound real simple. And I was like, I don't know. He was like, Man, you just gotta be comfortable and just talk when you rap. So I had went home and wasn't really discouraged. It was just like, you know what? I'm gonna write something. And I ended up writing this rap, a freestyle that's on SoundCloud that could be found. Um, Jesus, I forget the name of it. But literally after that, it was like I started, I just feel like I'm talking to you when I'm rapping instead of like, I don't even know if I'm dictating something or sounding like a robot or somebody doing um, telecommunications and I'm reading off of a piece of paper to get it perfectly like now it's just even if I do have to read the raps inside the studio when I'm recording it's um it still sounds like I'm comfortably reading it as if I wrote it I just feel like I'd be able to do the same thing for someone else it's kind of just putting yourself in their shoes and it's not hard for me to put myself in my own shoes and for me to want to convey whatever I want to say to somebody very interesting thank you so much and so what can you tell us about your noteworthy collaborations? Um, well, what which one do you want to start with? You want to start with the project that I'm promoting right now? Yes, yes. All right. So Still My Wave is um featuring my brother Rice, who's actually um the Worcester Music Awards um winner for um world music. He just um we just celebrated that win with him last night. But um, still my wave is um basically it's it's a motivational song, um it's kind of one of those things too where it's me, I guess saying what distinguishes me from other people, and more or less, 
even while I was writing it, we were coming up with the song. It was the idea of during that time I was going through a whole thing of feeling like people were kind of anything I was doing, then they were doing it next. Um, you know, I do a show here, you know, as a promoter and we're packing the crowd and, you know, you got other artists trying to do shows there also. I think it became kind of exclusive when you had certain owners saying like, no, I'm only going to deal with you when it comes to hip hop. And I was dope. But um, yeah, you know, um, it's all in, in, in the hook, you know, people trying to steal the wave and, you know, we're just going to continue doing what we need to do to stay above ground. That's it. Thank you. And what can you tell us about your plans for the rest of 2024? Definitely right now I'm working with Victor. Um, shout out to him. He's my publicist. Um, just looking to get back out and um, performing um, more often. Um, just like last night, I, I think, you know, being at the award show and just running to a lot of people, getting back into um, the promoter side also, because I promote shows. I'm, I'm a curator for shows also. So even being there last night, I had seen, um, shout out to Phantom Vibes. She won an award for R&B. And for me, it was it was dope because I'm like, wow, she started with me. Um, I, I put on different shows and I used to tell a lot of artists this, even as I continue to watch a lot of them develop and grow, it's like, wow, the person you were then and the person they are now is a big difference. But even being in those circles last night, it was like me feeling like, um, this is, I've always been around the right people. <laughs> and I feel like, period, you know, whether it's inboxing or, you know, personal phone calls from some promoters and whatnot, and people saying they miss me and being out. They thought I retired. Like, no, I'm not retired. Not at all. Just been kind of sitting back and trying to strategically put it all together so it all makes sense now in terms of when I'm doing releases for projects and whatnot. Um, after Still My Wave, we actually am re-releasing Zoot and um, we got the video shot and everything. So it's me just going about things correctly and um, being strategic. You know, any of you, you know, this is greatly appreciated. Just, just getting back to work. Like, seriously, you guys are definitely hear more music coming out this year. Collaborations with my brother again and other artists. I don't want to give out too many secrets. I gave out one already. <laughs> <laughs> thank you and how can our listeners find you on social media what's your name definitely look me up m underscore easy y 17 on all social media instagram facebook um x um yeah definitely look me up yeah awesome start getting more active with the um with the social media too getting back to the uh making um you know funny videos and stuff like that Great. And what can you tell our listeners about your single, Still My Wave? Still My Wave is the one right now. This is that one. This is that motivational music that you need to throw this on as soon as you wake up. In fact, this should be your alarm clock. OK, this is the one to remind you for yourself, because if you can relate to anything I'm saying in the song, it's a reminder to you, too. Who you are and be you and don't don't. Don't never be embarrassed about being you. That's all it is. That's really the gist of the song. And um, just, um, I think also the growth of me as an artist, um, you know, I guess it's the thing of, um, you always feel like people are watching. And right when you're thinking like, oh, you know, I don't get the views, I don't get the like, you're getting the views and the likes. People are secretly watching you. That's, that's the gist of Still My Way. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yes, indeed. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And now, guys, stay tuned because we're going to play Still My Wave. All right. Riding, riding on a ship, Stella is my way. Trying to jack my shit, wanna loot me for my way. Trying to steal my way, trying to steal my way, trying to steal my way, man. They trying to steal my way. 
smoke, no gas mask. Fresh off a puff, puff pass. Mood like I own this bitch. Walking in, smell like I pass gas. Soup moving through trap fat. Full drip, can't have that. Art exhibit, step back. Please, there's no contact. Like them, like them thick with a fat ass. Cheese eggs, grits, hold the hash. Before she asks, extra information figure I should add. Hard work and translating. No obla ingle. Is it me or they just applauding far away? Both fresh J's on Christmas. Present gift, you're the past. My swag's on every rapper's new wish list. Love me now before I pass. R.I.P. No hashtags. Used to move work mass tags. Now spit flames for the mass. Riding, riding on a shit. Stella is my way. Trying to jack my shit. Wanna loot me for my way. Trying to steal my way. Trying to steal my way. Trying to steal my way. Man, they trying to steal my way. Shit. Stella is my way. Trying to jack my shit. Wanna loot me for my.